Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 17th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had kind of a mix of things happening here. We had the QQQ holding on to some gains on the day while the rest of the market saw a little bit of selling. But did anything really change? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition to the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market on this hump day in May. Well, doggone it. Um, the sellers came in pretty strong here on the diamonds. Obviously, a little bit disappointed on the retail sales numbers that missed estimates and also disappointed with the Home Depot numbers. And then, of course, the worry and concern about the debt ceiling negotiation. And then we also heard from Fed members, while the market wants to believe and, and the talking heads continue to try to promote an idea that the Fed is done, they're going to um, soon pivot, they're going to soon start cutting. Well, the Fed members came out in kind of a chorus yesterday saying, um, well, we're going to hold the line and we are still willing to raise rates if necessary. That, of course, raised bonds, uh, bond yields. In fact, our two-year bond went back above 2% yesterday, disappointing the market. So all of these pressures kind of brought out the sellers yesterday a little bit, but we didn't have enough selling to really break things down. As a matter of fact, if it were not uh, for Apple, Microsoft, Google, Alphabet, and N N NVIDIA, we would have probably had a much steeper sell-off yesterday. Those um, handful of stocks did most of the lifting yesterday. They helped the Dow prevent from a major selling. They helped the SPY from um, selling off much. And they helped the QQQ actually lift to new highs yesterday while the majority of the QQQ was in the red yesterday. So let's take a look here. As you can see, we've got uh, diamonds this morning trying to perk back up. We heard some news that maybe things are improving on the debt ceiling negotiations, that there is progress. The president is apparently now willing to negotiate where he hadn't been before. And so um, a little progress there, and we're trying to gap up here a bit this morning. Keeping an eye on this downtrend resistance. I haven't changed this to red yet. Um, I'll only change this red to red if we get a failure of that price level. If we were to bounce right back up, then it's just volatility in the market, but I will be watching that closely. So if the bulls find inspiration today, let's look for a retest of this resistance level in the chart that I've got right in here, all of this price resistance um, in that area. And if they're able to break through that, well, then we have to start working through up into this area of price resistance in the chart to see if we can break back through there. Keeping in mind that if the bears were to find inspiration today, then I would look for that possibility that we could slip back below this level. We closed the day below the 50 day moving average here in the diamonds. And obviously that raises a little concern, noticing that our short term moving average are, are all above providing a little bit of a short squeeze to the downside. So we'll want to be keeping an eye on that here in the diamonds. Now let's take a look at, and, and by the way, volumes, very light. I mean, just incredibly light. I don't know. It's a, it is a very strange market. And if you're frustrated, trust me, you are not alone with the way the market has been reacting. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY still stuck in the range. Um, although we had a little bit of selling coming in there yesterday, nothing changed um, at all. Um, as you can see, still holding in support. This is just a drift lower. If it weren't for those handful of big techs yesterday, there would have been a very different outcome. 
but that that handful of big techs was able to lift um, so much. They're so big, they can lift so much. If they don't sell, then the market's not going down here in the SPY. So taking a look at this, as you can see, um, if the bulls find inspiration today, we're right back up here for um, that resistance level we talked about yesterday see if they can push on up into there and if they can push beyond that well then i'm looking for a retest of this um, resistance level up here in the chart if the bears find inspiration today um, then i would start looking for um, a test of this support here in the chart to see if that's going to hold and if that were to fail here then i would look for a retest down into that level on um, SPY. QQQ remained held on to some bullish prints yesterday, but it did pull back from the high of the day. But as you can see right now, working to gap higher in the market and all on the backs of just about five, six companies um, um, producing that upside pressure while the majority of the NASDAQ is not in the green. Um, so watch that closely, um, continuing to stretch on up. So if those bulls remain bullish here, um, are able to keep pushing, once again, we're going to look for these resistance levels here in the chart. There's a little teeny tiny resistance right about there. And then right up into here would be the next level. If the bears find inspiration, well, the best we can probably say is a retest of this support level at the moment in the chart on those bears. Uh, if they were to attack. If we take a look at our IWM, well, IWM faltered again at the downtrend um, here in the chart. Um, I probably should adjust this lineup just a little bit to these tops up here. So looking at that IWM, as you can see, if the bulls find inspiration today, well, once again, I'm gonna suggest that we test right up into this downtrend and possibly even that resistance level right there in the chart to see if we can break through. Clearly we're still stuck here in the market with um, the SPY the, uh, um, and IWM just wandering around um, trying to come up with some way to find direction and just chopping mostly. And um, if we take a look, if the bears find inspiration, I would look for a retest of this low here in this area of the chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX um, just kind of wandered around yesterday, started up, pulled back, at the end of the day, went back up, um, just wandering around, still stuck within this range. And with the gap up this morning, my guess is we're gonna push this right back down here in the chart. We can't seem to break out of here because we really don't have any momentum in the market. So um, just watch that close. If the bears find inspiration, then I would look for a break of this area here and uh, reach up in to um, that resistance of the chart. If the bulls find inspiration today, which they are obviously in the pre-market finding that, um, uh, uh, pushing down toward this level is what I'd be looking for. If we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 really showed the story pretty well yesterday. Um, even though we get the impression that, uh, you know, five or six companies can do all the work in the market. Well, that wasn't the case here for T2122, showing us a pretty substantial pullback yesterday in that uh, more stocks in decline than rising. Um, and uh, we'll want to keep an eye on that today because if the bears were to find inspiration, we'll understand that we still have more downside opportunity here that could occur. If the bulls find inspiration, well, obviously we've opened up a pretty good upside opportunity if we can find something to grab a hold of and uh, keep working to the upside. Unfortunately, what we've been seeing is the bulls and the bears just have very little gumption um, to fight very much. So it'll be interesting to see. We're gonna need something major, I think, um, to break us out of this range. We're coiling up and we're gonna need some kind of news. And maybe it's debt ceiling news that would finally break that log jam. We'll have to wait and see. If we take a look at our 
T2108, well, obviously T2108 pulled back. Um, 35, 36% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. That's not exactly a bullish sign, but we continue to be range bound, stuck underneath uh, some resistance, um, stuck above some support. We're just range bound in here and we continue to wind around in this wedging pattern here on T2108. Um, lacking momentum to break through. So again, we're just coiling, um, waiting for something to drive us either up or down. T2107, also on the bearish side yesterday, pulling back 37, 38% of the stocks, holding above their 200 day moving average. Once again, trapped between, between some support and resistance. That head and shoulders pattern is still out there looming. Um, on that chart, we still have this downtrend here that we'll want to be paying attention to in uh, T2107. But again, I think we're still just coiling up for some kind of a potential big move in the chart. Let's take a look at our T2101. And our T2101 just continues to show us that we lack momentum tremendously. We're just whipsawing back and forth here, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Maybe today we'll change that, we'll, we'll see. Um, obviously, um, we've not been getting a lot of volume. We've been seeing so much choppiness here in the market that um, we're just not, we're not gaining, um, gaining ground um, um, from the bullish side or the bearish side, we're just chopping in a range. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, well, our economic calendar, we've got a couple of things that we'll wanna be paying attention to. First off, we've got mortgage applications that came in this morning at a disappointment showing a decline in mortgage applications. Um, um, housing market um, or housing starts and permits will be coming up this morning before the bell. We'll wanna keep an eye on that. Right now, consensus is suggesting um, that we may have housing starts decline just a little bit, housing permits go up just a little bit. So kind of a mix of data is what the consensus is suggesting. Petroleum status, that'll of course be important particularly for that oil sector here that has been struggling to hold with um, some demand destruction worries happening um, in that sector. We've got a couple of bond auctions here, a four and a 20 year bond auction. Let's keep an eye on those. Um, this morning we've got yields pulling back a little bit. They were creeping up yesterday with all of that Fed speak out there saying, hey, we're gonna hold the line. Um, as you think about Thursday and plan forward, jobless claims, Philly Fed, existing home sales, all of those are potential market moving um, reports. You'll want to be paying attention to that and planning carefully for those on Thursday morning. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here today. Now, our earnings calendar a um, little bit busier day than we've had the last couple, but still nothing, um, you know, just not a huge amount. So I, I, I can cover all of these here this morning. We've already heard from Target here this morning, and Target has kind of left um, everybody with a hmm, um, uncertain um, report here, I guess. Um, little long-legged doji in the pre-market here, um, possibly opening flat on the day here in Target after its earnings report. Um, reporting massive losses in theft and um, suggesting um, some problems um, with that in these cities that aren't doing a very good job of managing crime. So uh, keep an eye on that. We're also going to hear from uh, Boot today. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, CPRT, this has been one of those huge runners here in the market. Just a beautiful upside moves. We're going to hear from Copart today. Um, C Cisco will be reporting later on today. We've got a Jack in the Box that we'll be reporting. Looks like that's gapping up here this morning. Uh, looking good. Um, Stone Company will be reporting today. We're going to hear from SNPS. Keep an eye on that one. 
We've got take two we'll be reporting today. Um, we're going to hear from uh, TJ Maxx here. I would pay attention to that one. It's been locked in quite a trading range for a long time, just chopping back and forth. Um, we've got TCOM reporting today, um, obviously moving in a downtrend. Um, so that could be interesting for today. And we're going to hear from Wix. Ooh, big pop there on Wix in the pre-market. Good upside move, trying to break that downtrend here in Wix. So watch that close this morning on that gap up. And then uh, ZTO, and that's probably the last of the notables here for today. And you can see ZTO is going the opposite direction. Feeling a little bit on the bearish side at the moment. So um, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you feel the video is worthy, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. You know, I know it gets monotonous day after day, but it, it also supports the effort to put these videos out day after day. Uh, getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning so I can prepare and put it all together. Um, so I really do appreciate um, the support uh, that you guys show in this video. Thank you so much. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I would do uh, be very, very careful. Do your own due diligence. Make sure it fits your risk tolerance in these trades. Make sure that you are following your trading guidelines. First off in here, I want to take a look at the dollar, uh, noticing that the dollar continues to strengthen here. Now, as the dollar strengthens, that continues to be problematic for anything in that commodity sector, gold, silver, oil, um, uh, food commodities, things like that. Usually um, you will see um, those prices decline as the dollar strengthens. So keep a close eye on that. And one of the reasons the dollar has been strengthening is we're seeing the Fed staying very resilient on um, rate increases and saying they're going to hold the line and maybe even raise even more if necessary. So um, that is strengthening the dollar. Keep an eye on that if that continues. Um, now, that being said, when we look at gold, we're going to see gold probably take it a bit on the chin here and silver um, struggling as a result. So um, if gold and silver continue to fall, what we'd want to watch for is that next rally back up to test resistance levels here in silver, and that may set up a potential short to the downside. So keep an eye on uh, gold and silver if that were to occur. Um, also, let's take a peek at oil. My goodness, some of these oil stocks are ugly now. Um, you can see tremendous declines here in these stocks. Big drop in ExxonMobil. We're seeing ConocoPhillips move to the downside. APA, um, absolute short setup yesterday, coming into some price support. But oh my goodness. Um, lots of pain and suffering in that oil sector here for now. However, let's take a look at UNG, natural gas. Natural gas may be trying to come up out of a bottom. And um, I may be biased on this because I have picked up a small position on UNG. Um, and I'm looking for this to maybe come around. There's that pattern that I look for, break of the downtrend and an attempt to hold a higher low. You can see in UNG showing a little bit of bullishness here in the pre-market. Um, I would keep a close eye on that UNG right now holding in there worth keeping um, an eye on. Now it still has to get back up through its 50 day moving average and hold up there. But if it can, then we may have another um, opportunity like um, I had over here come up out of that downtrend and show that nice upside swing uh, beginning to happen. This could be a very profitable trade because um, obviously we're not going to stop using natural gas in the world. Um, uh, 
game. So watch that closely. Now let's take a look um, at some of the other stocks. Take a look at AMD here to um, yesterday. AMD fired off really well. We pushed on through, we held support, boom, up to the upside. We're testing resistance here in the chart. I keep an eye on AMD, this collaboration with Microsoft certainly beneficial here apparently and uh, the market loves it so um, watch carefully here for more upside opportunity in AMD um, I think um, it would be a good idea to be keeping a close eye if you're not already in Nvidia keeping a close eye on it what it seem what seems to be occurring here is this nice little upside run um, continuing heading toward those earnings on 524 so keep an eye on that we're stretching up into um, that move up here in Nvidia Microsoft Microsoft pushed on higher yesterday despite the really crazy wild PE ratios in these big techs nobody seems to care they um, it really is interesting that that right now traders don't seem to mind spending extremely high multiples for a single dollar in earnings return um, but they are willing to push these prices up higher uh, Microsoft continuing to move uh, very very strongly into some resistance areas of the chart but watch that closely still looking good how about Google boy Google defying gravity here in a straight up rally um, after its um, uh, you know product show that it had and um, investor conference keep an eye on that um, uh, Google has transferred right up here into this next level of resistance I would look for a little rest consolidation or pullback in here but the way the market's acting right now if as long as it's a big tech um, we're willing to buy so don't be too surprised if that continues to stretch on up to the upside some of the stuff, smaller things um, out there moving around. Take a look at space. Space is one of those that um, really has had a tough time here, but we broke that downtrend, hold that, holding that high or low. We've broken through some resistance in the chart, um, holding some, uh, some buy support in here, and you can see those buyers following through to the upside. So keep a, uh, an eye on some of those stocks like space. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. I do truly appreciate it. Everyone, take care. Be safe. Have a wonderful day. And I wish you all a productive and profitable trading day. Have a great one.